hello guys welcome to my channel so today in this video i'm going to show you how to fix when brother printer stop printing after updating your windows 10 to the latest version now in order to fix this problem please follow the steps shown in this video so first of all go ahead and copy this link this is a microsoft catalog link so go ahead and open this link the link is provided in the video description and here you can go ahead and update this particular update that is KB4567523 if you have Windows 10 version 2004 now in order to check which version you have go to start menu then click on settings click on system scroll down and select about and then here scroll down and here you can see version 2004 so go ahead and check which version you have so if you have version windows 10 version 2004 then you have to go ahead and download and install this update if you have version 1909 then you have to install this update and if you have version 1903 then you have to install this update so i will just show one for example as an example so copy this update and then paste it over here all the updates are provided in the video description and then click on search and as you have version 2004 and you, have, you also have to check what kind of uh, system you have so over here you can see it's x64 based processor so it's 64 bit operating system so you have to go ahead and select 64 you have to go, go ahead and select x64 based system so this is for ARM this is server windows server we, windows server no we don't want this so it's windows 10 version 2004 for x64 based system so this is the right one we are not using x86 or we are not using arm or we are not using windows server or arm 64 so this is the right one uh, for my computer so go ahead and uh, you know you have to click on download over here and once you click on download you will see this pop up and then over here you have to go ahead and click on this hyperlink and it will start downloading the file once the download is complete you have to go ahead and click on this exe file and then you have to install the update and after that go ahead and restart your computer and then test your printer now in case if you have 1909 search this update in the search box and then install the update if you have 1903 then copy and copy this update and then paste it over here and then click on search and install it so make sure that you uh, go ahead and install the right update as per your version now still you are facing the problem then go ahead and perform the steps mentioned here so first of all you have to go ahead and perform power cycle to perform power cycle first of all go ahead and turn off your printer and then unplug the power cable wait for a few seconds and then plug in the power cable back to the printer and then start your printer and then you can go ahead and check your printer and still you are facing the problem then you have to go ahead and uninstall and reinstall your printer to uninstall go to the start menu then click on settings and then click on devices click on devices then click on printer and scanners and here you will be able to see your printer in the list so in my case i don't have any printer installed right now so that's why i don't see it but in your case you will find your brother printer over here so select your brother printer just for example i'm showing you select your brother printer and then click on remove device and after you remove it once the remove is done go ahead and restart your computer and then you have to go ahead and reinstall your uh, printer to reinstall your printer again open go to the start menu go to settings go to devices and then go to printer and scanner and then click on add a printer or scanner and it will go ahead and scan it will look for all the printers which is nearby which is make sure that the printer is on right now it will go ahead and search your printer and after that you have to go ahead and click on add device so once it finds your uh, printer you have to select that printer and then you have to click on add so right now i don't have any printer so here you will be able to see your printer then click on it then click on add and that's how you will go ahead and reinstall your printer now if you have a usb printer then go ahead and 
connect your USB cable from your printer to the USB port on the PC and then start your printer and if you see the printer over here then uh, you can go ahead and click on add if you don't see it then again you have to go ahead and you know click on printer and scanner and then click on uh, add printer and then go ahead and click on add to add your printer now the, uh, the third step is to run the printer troubleshooter to run the printer troubleshooter go to the start menu then click on settings then click on update and security then click on troubleshoot click on additional troubleshooter and here you can see the printer so click on printer and then click on run the troubleshooter then select your uh, printer so click on run the troubleshooter and then it will be asking you to select your printer then go ahead and you know select your printer and continue the troubleshooting here you will be able to see the printer and then click on next and once the troubleshoot is done go ahead and check your printer now still you are facing the problem then you have to clear and reset the print spooler so first of all you have to go ahead and uh, stop the print spooler service so go ahead and type in services in windows search box so just type in services over here and then make a right click on services then click on run as administrator and then go ahead and select the standard tab over here so here we have extended and we have standard so click on standard and then just type in the letter uh, p on the keyboard so that you can find print spooler over here just make a double click on print spooler and then once you make a double click click on stop and once the stop is done right now um, after you stop the print spooler go ahead and copy this path this path is provided in the video description so copy this path and then paste it in the windows search box and then open this folder and delete all the folder if you see any folder over here select everything and then make a right click and then delete all the contents in this folder and after you delete all the content in this folder we have to start the print spooler service once again so again uh, go ahead and just type in services over here just type in services make a right click and then click on run as administrator then click on yes and uh, here you have to go ahead and find print spooler and then make a double click on print spooler and then make sure that the startup type is set to automatic and then click on start and then click on apply and then click on ok and after that you can go ahead and check your printer now still you are facing the problem then you have to go ahead and uninstall and reinstall the printer driver so to uninstall the printer driver open device manager so just make a right click on the start menu and then click on device manager now here you will be able to see print queues so sometimes it's hidden so let me show. yeah so here you can see print queues so click on it and you'll be able to see your printer driver over here i don't have any printer right now so you will be able to see your printer over here just make a right select your printer then make a right click on your printer then click on uninstall device and then click on uninstall now after the uninstall go ahead and restart your computer first and after the restart you, go, you have to go ahead and install the latest printer driver from the manufacturer website so if you have in in this case you have brother printer so go to brother website so just type in brother printer driver download in google search and then go to brother website and then you have to enter the model number of your printer over here so whatever is the model number go ahead and select your model number so for example i am selecting this model number just make sure that you enter your model number and then click on search and here you will see the driver for this particular model number and then you have to go ahead and select the windows and then click on ok and then you have to go ahead and download the complete driver and software package 
and once the driver is installed you can go ahead and set up your printer once again like the first time when you set up the computer uh, printer for the first time same way you have to go ahead and set up the printer after installing the driver from the manufacturer website and still you are facing the problem then you can go ahead and take help from microsoft virtual agent so copy this link this link is also provided in the video description copy this link then open this link in a browser and then now here you can see how to fix printing problems in windows 10 so go ahead and select the appropriate reason so here you can see my pre my printer isn't work and printing so just click on it and it will go ahead and provide you some troubleshooting steps just perform these troubleshooting step if that does not resolve the problem click on no let's try another solution and then again it will provide you some another troubleshooting steps so go ahead and perform these steps and uh, if it does not resolve then click on no let's try another solutions to get another troubleshooting steps and one of the steps should go, should go ahead and fix the problem for you so that will be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel